In this tutorial, you will learn more about the delegate role and how to register as a delegate in the Arizona Controlled Substances Prescription Monitoring Program. Prescribers and pharmacists may have delegates run patient reports for them in the PMP. The prescriber and pharmacist are considered supervisors in the PMP and are responsible for the actions taken by their delegates. Delegates should have their own PMP account and not share an account with their supervisor. The delegate only has access to the PMP to run patient reports for their supervisor. The delegate does not have any access to the supervisor's PMP account. If you are asked to be a delegate by your supervisor, you will register by going online to arizona.pmpaware.net. When the home page to the PMP has loaded, click on Create an Account. Type in an email address that is unique to you, meaning no one else has access to the email account. Remember, the account belongs to you, not your supervisor. If you are a delegate for more than one supervisor, you will only have one PMP account. Next, type in a password. The password must be eight characters with at least one uppercase letter, lowercase letter, number, and special character, such as punctuation. Click the Save and Continue button. Click the plus sign next to Healthcare Professional to access a drop-down selection of user roles. There are five different types of delegates under the Healthcare Professional role. Prescriber Delegate Licensed. Examples of users in this role include LPNs, RNs, and RDHs. Prescriber Delegate Unlicensed. Examples of users in this role include medical dental assistants, front office employees, and medical records technicians. Please note that unlicensed delegates must have training in HIPAA law and security standards, per Arizona statute. Pharmacist Delegate Licensed. This role is for pharmacist interns working in a dispensing pharmacy. Pharmacy Technician. This role is for licensed pharmacy technicians working in a dispensing pharmacy. Pharmacy Technician in Training. This role is for licensed pharmacy technician trainees working in a dispensing pharmacy. On the next page, you will fill out a form to provide the rest of your registration information. Each field with red asterisk is required. Take your time to ensure that the information you provide is accurate. Enter your license number. For the prescriber delegate unlicensed role, you will need your driver's license to register. For registrations that are licensed, such as prescriber delegate licensed or pharmacy technician, your professional license number will be required to register. License numbers should be entered in the PMP exactly as they look on your professional license or on the licensing board's website, including any letters or leading zeros if applicable. Enter your first, middle, and last names exactly how they appear on your professional license. The PMP also requires your date of birth and the last four digits of your social security number for authentication purposes. For your primary contact phone, enter the number where the PMP staff can reach you. It is not published outside of the PMP. Scroll down the page and you will enter your employer information. If you work at more than one location, put the information of the location you feel is your primary place of work. To link to your supervisor, you will need the email address the supervisor uses in the PMP. You do not need the supervisor's password. Enter the email address and click Add. The supervisor's information will show below the empty field. You may have more than one supervisor. Remember to click Add after every entry. When you have completed entering all the information, click the Submit Your Registration button. You will then see the Account Approval Required box. This is to remind you that your supervisor will have to approve your PMP access in the supervisor's PMP account before you will be able to run reports. On the next screen, you will see the End User License Agreement, which details the terms of PMP usage. Remember, misuse of the PMP is a Class 6 felony. After clicking I agree, there are still two more steps to complete your registration. First, go into the email account you use to register for the PMP. 
Look for an email from NoReplyPMPAware at GlobalNotifications.com. If you do not see it in your inbox, look for it in your spam or junk mail folder. Once you've located and opened the email, you must click on Verify Your Email. You must verify your email address in order for your PMP registration to be approved. Make sure to save the PMP email address to your safe senders list as this email address is used to send patient and system notifications. Lastly, after you verify your email address, the PMP staff will verify the information you provided in your registration. If there are errors, we will work with you to correct them. Once this review is complete, the registration is approved. You will receive an email notification once your registration is approved. You are now ready to review your first patient report. If you have any further questions about the Arizona Prescription Monitoring Program, visit our website at pharmacypmp.az.gov or email us at pmp.az.pharmacy.gov. At